Oh, hello, snake. Snake! <laughs> Spooky mask. I'm just picturing both the snake and Richard looking at me quizzically because Jill is just pushing the mask away from her and pulling it towards her face while just humming spooky mask to herself. Spooky mask. Boom. Delicious healing. Tasty green. Nope. No, no, please. Lisa, no. From here, you've got a good view of the entrance of the cabin. To scare the bejesus out of me when the inevitable happens. Oh, shit, son. Am I safe? I'm not safe. Um... Oh shit! Leave me alone! 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 <laughs> no, no, no. No, please. Will you take the Star Christ? Yes. Will you get attacked by birds? Yes. A gun has been placed neatly inside. Well, I'll be fucking taking that. Will you take the Magnum Revolver? You bet your sweet ass I will. The item screen is going to shoot you. Pew 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 pew. Snakes! More snakes! You got a map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. I see a giant beehive. Oh shit! <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Um, bees. Barry, there's bees! Bees, there's Barry! So I like how blasé he was about that. I was like, ah, I think I'll just go get some fresh air for a change. Maybe get my face ripped off by a mutant dog. You know how it is. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. Motherfucker, I have seen Jaws. Almost all of the Jaws movies. Even the shitty ones. Especially the shitty ones. More importantly, I've seen Deep Blue Sea. My hat is not like a shark's fin, so I'm not going to bother going down there just yet. Oh, motherfucker, no! Oh god! Die! 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 No. No. That's a bad spider. An advertisement for an arm wrestling competition. Or a contest. The winner will be named Chief for a Day of the Raccoon Police Department. What? Also, it's very much like that famous scene in, um... Predator. Dylan, you son of a bitch. But if you're chief of the RPD for a day, does that mean you also have to engage in creepy taxidermy? Start creeping on younger woman? Seems to come with the job, considering. Uh, hang on to the uh, shotgun. Well, have it out and equipped just in case that other spider tries to come down and do some funny business. As funny as a giant arachnid can be, that is. Which, I mean, I suppose if you put a little sombrero on him, it might be fun. Still poisonous and deadly, but... And it looks like the Sheikah symbol. For whatever reason, I, I just have this in my head now that Jill is a Legend of Zelda fan. Probably explains why she's able to solve all these puzzles. It's like, oh no, I've seen things like this. All those years wasted in front of a Super Nintendo are gonna pay off. And that's some bum. And that's a poster with some muscly, muscly arms. There's a lot of raw sensuality in this break room. Oh shit! Whoever lived here has a bitchin' cowboy hat. There's nothing special. What's- what are you talking about? What's not special about that bitchin' cowboy hat? 
see, my question is, a lot of this shit was mistake, right? Like, the, the, the dogs and the zombified humans and stuff, none of that was really supposed to happen. They were just using this virus they discovered to create bioweapons, but some of these don't even make sense in terms of bioweapons, because obviously it is a threat for a lone person with meager equipment like myself running through this mansion, but how the hell is something like the giant spiders I'm coming across supposed to be effective against a, a small battalion or something? Stuff like the tyrants I can understand, but... And the sharks! Why the hell would they need the sharks? What purpose would they serve? And a lot of this shit just happens by accident. Like, the plant was never supposed to be infected the way it was. To be, uh, to be honest, the only thing that even seems halfway effective and would be combat capable are probably the liquors from the second game and, um... The hunters. The hunters are probably the most effective, probably least costly thing that Umbrella's ever made. Alright, let's go check out this gallery. Let's go check out the galley. Get myself some grub. Wait, no, I think I omitted a letter there somewhere. Let's all go to the gallery. Let's all go to the gallery. Let's all go to the gallery. View ourselves some art. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the forehead, I mean, the root of the plant, the forehead of the plant, which is what the root is, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. And that's when Jill figures out what she needs to do. She needs to enlist the aid of the moths, the natural enemy of the giant mutant plant. She shall become Moth Queen. There's a ladder here. Shocking, I know, because, well, you know, it was there last time, too. And as we all know, ladders are migratory, like birds. Reorder the books? Sure. The books also seem to have hardcore nudity, so, you know, please don't ban me, Twitch. The bindings fit together neatly. Now let's admire this low-grade smut for a little bit. Whoa, what? No! <laughs> Parasol. What is that, Umbrella's own operating system? Parasol, because I couldn't think of anything better. I mean, we, we kind of have an Umbrella thing, anyway. I'm assuming one of the unspoken... One of the unspoken CEOs of uh, Umbrella Corporation is in reality Oswald Cobblepot. Goddamn penguins in charge of this shit. Mail to the Chief of Security. Priority procedures from Umbrella Headquarters. Qu 